When you hear keto, do you think boring? Well, not today. As we continue casserole season, we're going to make the most tasty keto casserole you've ever had. Let's be real, we are all busy, and this time of year is even busier. But that doesn't mean you have to settle for boring food or fast food. I'm gonna show you an amazing jalapeno popper chicken casserole that will blow your mind. People didn't even realize that it was a keto casserole. They couldn't stop eating it. They had one plate, two plate, three plate, even four plates, four of this, and wanted more. Like, just give me a whole bucket of it. The first thing we're gonna do is chop and cook our bacon. But don't drain the fat, this is gonna be used in just a bit. And if you freeze your pack of bacon for 20 or 30 minutes before chopping, it makes it so much easier. Nice clean cuts, and it doesn't all mush and stick together. Next, I'll grab gloves, because I don't want those jalapeno oils all over my hands. Last time, my fingers became completely numb, and I'm like, what the heck is wrong with my fingers? <laughs> I didn't even know jalapenos could do that. But you do you, I'm using gloves. Now let's chop off the top of those jalapenos and then cut them lengthwise. I like to use a spoon and scrape out the inside to get all those pesky seeds. We want them clean. Then slice our jalapenos into about four strips and then give them a good chop. But did you know that while many believe that the heat in jalapenos comes from the seeds, it's actually not true. We remove them because nobody wants to bite into seeds. I know I don't. Now we'll saute them in the same pan where we cooked the bacon earlier for just a few minutes. No need to add oil, the bacon provided enough, and it's giving the jalapenos extra flavor. Even if you don't love jalapenos or are a spice wimp like me, you'll love this dish. It's the perfect amount of spice, it's delicious. It, you don't have to turn on the grill to cook individual little poppers. This dish is complete and that added chicken in there. Ah. So what are the components to a jalapeno popper? You've got a jalapeno, you've got cream cheese, and you've got bacon. For us, we're gonna elevate our cream cheese and make a cream cheese mix. Start with a softened block of cream cheese, which will make it easier to blend with our sour cream and add those sauteed jalapenos because we can't have jalapeno poppers without the jalapenos. That's like saying you want a burger without the patty or a sandwich without the bread. It's not the same. Next, we've got a surprise to a classic jalapeno popper. We're adding chicken. We're gonna season our chicken with a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of pepper, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, and a half a teaspoon of cumin. So mix it all together. Time to cook the chicken. In the same pan we cooked our bacon and the jalapenos in, we're gonna cook our seasoned chicken in. It's gonna soak up all of those jalapeno and bacon flavor. Flavor! While the chicken cooks, let's spice up that creamy mixture. We're gonna add garlic powder, some smoked paprika, and onion powder. And don't forget, use smoked paprika so that you get that smoky flavor like it's been cooked out on the grill. Pour in the heavy cream and a good amount of mild cheddar and pepper jack cheese to amp up that jalapeno flavor. Creamy and jalapenos. Oh, almost forgot, diced green chilies. Now the other must have, add that crispy bacon. Let's make it pretty by saving a little for the top of our casserole. These will add layers of flavor. Give it all a good stir, set it aside until we're ready to shred up our chicken and add that too. I decided to grill chicken, but of course you can save time by just shredding a rotisserie chicken instead. This one is perfectly cooked. Look at how juicy and flavorful and hot. That's why I'm using forks now. Now it's time to assemble the casserole. I've kept this recipe keto friendly, but if you're not worried about it being keto and you want to add rice, potatoes, or pasta, or even cauliflower rice, I will go ahead and bake it in a nine by 13 pan just to allow you to have more room for those added items. Today I'm using this adorable baking dish borrowed from my mother-in-law. It's so cute and perfect for this recipe. This is one of those recipes that can easily be doubled and you might just wanna do that, it's that good. Don't forget to sprinkle the remaining cheese and bacon on top for that irresistible finish. Now let's throw it in the oven at 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes, giving it time for the cheese to melt and meld and all those flavors to combine. Now it's time to dig into this beauty. Serve it with chips, crackers, like I did right here with my super dips or simply enjoy it with a spoon, keto style, like I'm doing. 10 out of 10, we'll make again. 
Thank you for joining me in the kitchen today where we turn simple ingredients into a masterpiece. Don't forget to subscribe for more mouthwatering recipes. Until next time, happy cooking. And remember, it's casual season. So give this one a try. Thanks, bye. I call them jalapenos and people look at me funny, but they're jalapenos. I know they're jalapenos. I know this, but I'm having fun and I like to call them jalapenos. I don't, even, I don't even say jalapenos. I like the jalapenos.